Hey guys, Dana here. So I said in my past video that I was going to make a comparison between a few products and one of them being uh, EOS lip balms and Maybelline baby lips. So I'm going to talk about that, but you guys will see a pattern in my products I'm going to show you. Apparently I'm really drawn to green packaging. I don't know. I'm sorry for not being sorry. I just, I like the color green. Um, so let's talk about the lippies first. Um, yeah. So EOS lip balms. I got this one for a little bit over $4, like $4.50, like $4 with tax. Um, at the Target near my house, which just recently opened. Uh, they only had two of the scent slash flavor things when I was there. Um, they had this one, which is the Honeydew Melon one, and they had, I believe it was a strawberry bubblegum one. It was the pink egg. So the EOS lip balms look like this when you open them. They're like a little ball inside an egg. I don't, I don't know what you described as. They smell good. Uh, I'm not sure whether they come in a color, like whether they come with color, like a colored uh, applier, I don't know, like a lip, like you know how you can get uh, lip chaps and butters with like a slight bit of a tinge of a color to them? I'm not so sure if you can do this with the EOS lip balms. And then Maybelline Baby Lips. Uh, usually a London Drugs, you can get a deal for about four or four, two of these for four dollars or one of them for approximately two dollars. Mm, no, two for three. I don't know if I said that properly. Two for three dollars and one for two dollars. I believe that's what I was trying to say. I don't know. Um, how, uh, I can't talk today, so I apologize. I don't know why I'm making this video when I've had troubles talking all day. Mmm, I love the smell of this one. Anyways, uh, the Maybelline Baby Lips, I find it looks, comes in like a regular tube like this, and it's just a little twisty. It has quite a bit of product in it. Um, I will be comparing that in a bit. But the Maybelline Baby Lips, I know, comes in a bit. You can get it with a bit of a color tone to it, so that if you want to have like a really soft color to your lips, you can just chuck this on and it'll go because my mom has a slightly pink one and a slightly brown one and I recently bought her this one which is the peppermint one. Uh, I love this one. This one's my favorite. I've tried this one and I have tried the plain blue and pink tubed one. I'm not exactly sure what that one is called and I've also tried my mom's pink one quite a few times when I just I forget to bring this with me which is really upset but recently I've just like been tucking it in my vest pocket right there so if I need it I can just whip it out and put it on. Okay, so I actually just did a small bit of research and I had to do a little bit of math to figure out, to compare these guys. So with the EOS and the Baby Lips, this is just my first little tip, uh, the EOS does have more product if you convert it into grams, which I did because this on the website says it has 0.25 ounces, so I converted that into grams because the Baby Lips is in grams and it has 7.0874 grams, so basically 7 grams worth of product in here. And the Maybelline Baby Lips only have 4.4 uh, grams of product in them. So I guess if you're more the person that likes to have more bang for their buck, um, the EOS Lip Balm would be for you because it does have more product. So with the EOS Lip Balm, your first reaction is, oh my gosh, such a cute lip balm, where did you get it from? And your friends will tell you where they got it from, and you're like, oh cool, I'm gonna have to go check it out and see how much they cost and everything. So for me, spending $4 on a lip balm, it was pretty ridiculous. However, all my friends talk about it and everyone's like, oh, they're so cool, and I was like, they're so cute, so I gotta try one. However, when I got it home, when I opened up the packaging, I used it a few times, and what I realized, what I've been realizing is I don't like this packaging at all. I love the look of it and it's so cute sitting on your vanity or on top of your bed or on your counter. But as soon as it comes to versatility, I don't bring a I don't bring a purse with me. Literally, what I bring is my wallet in my back pocket and I put my lip balm in my pocket, like in this vest pocket. If I were to try and put this in my pocket, 
Do you see how awkward that looks? Oh, no, it, it looks like I have like, mm. it looks like I have like an extra boob. Who wants that? I'm sorry. Um, and you can't put it in your pant pocket easily. It's not like you can throw it in your back pocket. People will be like, what's that lump in your butt? <laughs> like, it's not easy to carry around unless you're one of those girls that walks around with a purse or a bag 24 seven. Um, I suppose I could chuck this in my school bag and bring it with me, but normally I just want to bring out my chopstick and throw it on. Um, that being said, the this is the Honeysuckle Honeydew one. And the smell of it is really good. I love the smell of this. I believe I actually had like an air freshener of this scent when I was younger. I think that might be why I'm so drawn to it. Um, the formula of this though, uh, it seems very waxy on your lips. Like, when you apply it, maybe it's just because I'm getting off the first layer of it or something. It doesn't seem to apply the same as a lot of my other lip chaps. Um, I'm not saying it's not a good formula, I'm just saying that this probably is not the formula that I would go to first. I know some people love this formula, um, like it's smooth and it's nice, but it just, it feels a bit waxy when I first applied it. I was kind of disappointed. Um, I think it will be better once I get off the first layer of it or so. Because it has been getting better the more I use it. But I think my biggest complaint is the packaging. And another thing that I noticed about the packaging is it literally has no information about the product on it. It says EOS on top and EOS on the bottom. It doesn't say the flavor. doesn't say how much product is in it. I had to look up on the internet for like five minutes to figure out how much product is in this egg for you guys. Um, it doesn't it says nothing about it on the product and that kind of upsets me because I like knowing what I have so if someone asked me what I have I could be like oh it's the honeysuckle honeydew EOS lip balm as simple as that or the smooth spheres as some people call it oh, okay chucking everything <sighs> but that's kind of my little rant on it I think it will get better as I start using it more but the main problem with this is I can't just shove it in my pocket and go however Maybelline Baby Lips. I have had no problem with these before. It might also be a bit opin- or not opinionative. Yeah, opinionative for me to say this because I do like this a lot more and I have been using it for longer. Like I've already went through a full one and I'm already, well not halfway, but about one third of the way through this one. So this is the Maybelline Baby Lips in 01 or 10, 10 peppermint, sorry. And this smells like, you know when you smell someone chewing gum from far away and you can kind of smell the mint from their breath? That's what this smells like, except for it doesn't smell like someone's mouth. It's so good. Um, I love the formula of the baby lips. It's much smoother and it's a bit, it almost seems more milkier. Like it's a lot um, smoother to apply. There's no waxy feeling at all, even when you first use it. Uh, it's great. I love that it twists up and twists down because um, I almost went to go screw on the top half of this egg and I almost bumped the product and that would have left a really ugly dent in it and that would have kind of ruined the effect of the cute egg thing. So I kind of like this because it's screw up, screw down. It's easy to chuck in my pocket. I can throw it in my Pot, like my vest pocket, I can throw it in my back pocket, I can throw it in my pant pocket, I can throw it in my backpack, I can do anything with it. Um, and I do not believe that EOS lip balms have spiff, as I call it, sunscreen in them, but I believe that the Maybelline baby lips do have sunscreen on them. In fact, I know that they do because they have right here spiff 20 moisturizing lip balm. Another thing that I prefer about the baby lips is the packaging. And not because of the size, not because how it can is very versatile and it can go anywhere. The reason why I like it is because it says, oh, like 10 peppermint, the scent. It says 4.4 grams on the front of it. It says Maybelline New York. It says baby lips. It has the whole label on it. So once you get rid of the packaging, you still know what you're using. Once I got rid of this little wraparound packaging, I had no clue what it was. Um... I think that's basically my biggest problem with it, is the packaging of the EOS lip balms and how it's a bit waxy for the first time you apply it, whereas the baby lips 
I fall I fell in love with it instantly. I love them. I this is the only lip balm that I've been that I has been that I've been loyal to. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna be loyal to them. In fact, I think that. I already have one that's unopened in my drawer for when this one's done with because I love these so much. I'm still getting used to the EOS lip balms. If I get used to them, you never know whether I like them. So, if you watched my last few videos, you know that I have discovered a hate towards the Maybelline Rocket Mascara. And that's really, oh, that's really, really hard for me to say because when I got this mascara, I thought it was going to be my new favorite mascara. I honestly did. I was like, this is going to be my new hit mascara. I'm going to love it. I'm going to get compliments when I wear it. And I have no complaints about the packaging. I think the packaging is super cute. I know some people are like, oh, it's kind of bulky and not handy to carry around. But as with most Maybelline mascaras or CoverGirl mascaras or Rimmel mascaras, a lot of them are bulky. Like most dollar, not dollar, most drugstore makeup is kind of bulkier in the way it's formed which I honestly have no problem with my makeup my makeup bag is big enough I'm not gonna have an issue with this um, so when I first got this this applied beautifully the formula was great I love the brush I still love this brush however it seems like as oxygen has gotten into the formula of this mascara it has gotten so runny and so clumpy that it used to give me these nice spider voluminous lashes and now all it does is clump my lashes together and gives me voluminous clumps. I don't like clump mascara. I like my mascara when it's long and it's feathery and it's spidery. Um, another thing about this is it's so difficult to use on your bottom lashes. It might just be because I'm challenged and bottom lashes are not the easiest thing to apply mascara to to start with. But since the brush is so big, you, you're you almost bound to make little spots as you apply it. It's brutal. Um, and then you definitely need a Q-tip on your hand to clean it up. Um, I don't know. I've, he I've heard really good reviews about it, but I just, I want to tell you guys that after, I think, probably like three months of having it, it hasn't been working how it used to. It, I honestly... I basically never use this mascara anymore. And if I do, I need to, you know, like those brow combs? I have to use a brow comb to separate my lashes. It, if I want mascara to look good, I will go right back to my Colossal Cat Eye. I will choose that over this any day. In fact, I will choose most of my other mascaras over this any day, which is really upsetting because I love this mascara and I love the packaging and I loved it when I first got it. However, on a more lighter note, as you know, well, you might not know, but uh, I recently got the Clump Crusher by CoverGirl. Uh, I got it in the waterproof, the water resistant formula. It's by Lash Blast. I don't know if that's irrelevant or not. Got it in very black. And I love the tube of it. Like, I told you guys. I don't know. I, I love green products. I love the color green. Um, and I do. I do like this brush. I've only used this mascara probably about four times since I've gotten it, so I haven't got a very good grip on it yet. Um, I do like the formula of it, and I do like the brush. However, I do not, f and it does, it, like it doesn't give you clumps, that's for sure. But I don't feel like it lengthens my eyelashes as I want it to nor does it make them very voluminous. I just feel like it separates them and doesn't really do anything else. Um, not bashing this mascara, I do like it and I will keep using it, um, but it's not gonna be my new favorite, which is kind of upsetting because I really wanted it to be. I do like this mascara, I will continue to use it. However, I will definitely be using my Colossal Cat Eye and I will definitely be using my Mega Plush until it is all out because I do love my Mega Plush mascara. So that is, oh, my EOS lip balm is falling off my pillow. So that is all for this comparison video. Uh, I hope you guys like this. Keep in mind, this is my own opinion towards these products. Uh, I am not Obviously, I'm not paid to be like, oh, EOS lip balms, oh, baby lips, oh, mascara. I'm not paid. This is me doing my own opinion on these products so you guys know how I feel and how I've had a bit of problems with some of these products. Um, 
However, I do highly suggest baby lips. I love these to death. Oh! Um, yeah. So I hope you guys liked this video and hope you guys found this kind of helpful or, you know, you felt like this wasted your time. In that case, maybe you're procrastinating and procrastinating is not good, but I'm very guilty of doing it. So, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. So I hope you guys liked this video and if I didn't post a video before this, expect a video to be coming soon after this. Um, it's about talking about this new segment that I'm planning on starting or this new thing that I'm planning on starting over summer. So, bye guys. Till next time, I'm over and out.